You're way too young. Movie with Johnny Depp. You're way too young, she said. Oh, the movie I do. Yeah, okay. well, there was, it's it's from a, yeah. a, a soap opera from the 60s. Okay. We're watching the original soap opera, which is on Tubi, streaming free, or Amazon Prime. Okay. But streaming watch it on free. Tubi. Anyway, I made her start watching it with me, and she decided she wanted to um, film us watching it. And then, like, talk about it. And, talk, and other things. Yeah. Talk that's about awesome. Yeah. yeah. So, I like it. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. So we're on episode, what are we on? Episode 10 of 1,225 episodes. Oh <laughs> it's a commitment. Oh, wow. I had no, well, I mean, a soap opera, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But it moves really slow. So, <laughs> that's not a really it's good a selling soap opera. Point. That's not a really <laughs> no, good selling that point. That does. We don't. <laughs> but um, coming up, there's going to be a vampire. There's werewolves. There's going to be uh, seances. seances. Lots of seances. Um, time, time travel. travel. A lot of time travel. Um, there's a witch hunt. Nice. They go all over. My eight-year-old wants to be a YouTuber. <laughs> well, maybe your eight-year-old can come sit with us. <laughs> no, we say she's not getting like any peace and quiet. We say inappropriate things, so no, it's not for <laughs> children. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you wouldn't get any peace and quiet with her. <laughs> she might fit right in. <laughs> I would drop her off and you'd be like five minutes out of the car. You're like, can you come back and get your kid, please? We like the ransom of red sheep. Remember that? <coughs> I do. Oh, Henry. Yeah, that's a good. I think she should lay back like this, too, against the rock. Slaying it for her. Like this? No, like this. <laughs> oh, sit up, like sitting on the ground? Yeah. Yeah. I think you should lean back on the rock now. Lean back. Yeah. We love ideas. Yeah. This is like the most easy. Yeah, thing like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know if it works, but it does. Anything she does actually works. So. Oh, that's great. The yeah, camera loves nice, you. Right? Yeah, no shit. <laughs> language. Language. Oh, sorry. You have a senior I, present. We, we had far worse. <laughs> 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 That's a word I can say around my eight year old. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thank Good, you. Luck. Yeah. Good luck with everything. Thank you. Thanks, Take guys. care. What are we on episode seven? What? We're episode on ten. ten. We're on ten. Holy balls, you just let out episode seven. I know. That must, must be what I'm thinking. My god dang nose won't stop running. Oh, I almost oh, said I almost, I almost told him we're drinking beer. And then it, yeah, not cool. I almost told him that you were polishing your teeth. <laughs> Ixnay on the awking tag. I used to work with this guy that would go, he would go like this, look at me when I'm talking, look at me when I'm talking to you. Would you look at me? <laughs> I really do think we should do an episode in Pig Latin. Oh God, we, gotta, like, we have to script that. I play in the old, hey, episode A in a Ig Pay Atomly. It would be, it would be, it would be annoying. Did I tell you one time I was walking through Kroger and I did that through the whole store you did and my Latin. kids were cracking up. Yeah, everything I said, I was talking in Pig Latin to them and they just lost it. Why are we not filming this? This is gold. Duh. Comedy gold. It is filming. What the? Oh, holy balls. <laughs> I did not know that. Okay. Well, hi. Hi. <laughs> Sin Twisters. Drunk Shadows, Cricket, Episode 10, Episode Annie. 10, Season 1, The Beginnings, Episode 10. Um, I'm not sure when this started filming, but we did have a senior getting senior pictures taken Oh, it was close delightful. By. It was delightful. It was really nice. It really was. It's still going on behind us. You might see them in a little oh, bit. Oh, I like that. I didn't I like see that. it. What was it? I wanted her did to do Did the heel click. That was good. I wanted her to do it. Did the heel click. Habit. I wanted yeah. her to do toe jumps. I think that might be a little stretch. I mean, That's why I didn't yeah. suggest it. Good job not being a jerk. <laughs> Gonna do it again. Do the herky. Do a herky. What's a herky? Woo! Yeah! 
What's a herky? It's like a cheerleading, super cheerleading thing. What, describe it. Well, you can like, look what I can oh, do. Oh, 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 we call that a Stuart in my house. It is a Stuart. Once I started doing that, I was like, oh yeah, it's not a herky, it's a Stuart. Okay. Look what I can do. Mad TV reference. Watch that. Oh my God, watch Stuart. He's freaking hilarious. In anything, Michael McDonald. Anything Will Sasso. The actor, not the singer. Anything Will Sasso. Will Sasso, Sasso is, on is that. amazing. And he's really good. And which one? Um, Mrs. Not the, Miss Swan. Not the Peel Key. Oh, was Michael on it. Keegan Key? Yeah, he was. He's he really was on good it. on it. And um, what's the UBS guy? Oh yeah, he's hilarious. I don't know his name. You know who he reminds name. me of? Yeah, because he reminds <laughs> me of him too. Oh, it's not not, not going to mention it. Not going to mention names. it because don't want to embarrass. But oh, when we turn this off, I'm going to make sure it's the same person. <laughs> oh, it is. And it, who's the lady who plays Miss Swan? Oh. You know what? I don't. Not Miss Swan. Uh, Miss um, the va Valcom lady, the makeup lady. Oh, oh my God, Nicole. Yes, yeah, she is. Nicole something. And Miss Swan oh, is. She's so good. Miss Swan is. Um, she was in. Was she in Kevin Can Fuck Him? So. I don't know. Have you watched that? You should watch that. Uh, I think I did. What is the... Nicole Sullivan. Mm. That's... Um, mm -hmm. And Miss Swan was um, Alex Borstein. No, she was in that King of Queens. Yeah, that probably yeah she Kevin was. She was a dog walker, himself. I think. Probably that Kevin Can Fuck Himself was based, based on. on. Yeah. Anyway, and Miss Swan was saying? Alex Borstein, who's also oh. really good. She looked like a man. Wait, is she the one that's in The Marvelous Miss Mabel? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I know a lot of people liked it, but I felt I like they were trying either. too hard. Yes. Way too hard. Yeah. Oh, we got little guys warming up in the softball field. Yay. We're in Port Thomas um, in Tower Park. Still. We're sitting right outside the mess hall. Right over there. You can't see it. <clears throat> Last episode, we were lucky enough to have a fire oh, wait, truck drive by. there is somebody in there. I can't see us. something out of the corner of my eye. There's somebody in the It's a ghost. Hall. It's a ghost. Because we're watching. Because we're shadows. watching Dark Shadows. Yeah. We're on episode 10. Uh, Raja insists that David should be sent away. Hey. Again? Oh. oh, wait, no. This is the first time. Sorry. <laughs> and Burke Not deceives... That watched ahead. Burke deceives Carolyn on why he returned. So, are you ready? You got a story I you want to share or anything? I was born ready. Since I've been ready since first, first call. Oh, that's a Pee Wee's Big Adventure adventure reference. Speaking of, next time we go to um, Rand not Randy Lamb, Bicycle Heaven in Pittsburgh to see Pee Wee's bike, we're all going to wear nun costumes and say, I'm going to start <laughs> a paper route right now and steal the bike. <laughs> That's a Pee Wee's Bigger Adventure uh. reference. <laughs> if you haven't seen that show, seriously, why? Why haven't you? Are we even friends? Do we even know you? <laughs> Do we want to know you? Should we know you? Could we know you? <laughs> um, and if you haven't seen it, I kind of want to watch it with you. Oh yeah, but let us I know. Kinda, let us know. We can I kind of don't because I'm not sure if you haven't seen it. If I, no, I'm kidding. Well, no. If they if they haven't seen it, but they're willing, but they're to, willing watch to watch it. it, I would love to watch it with you. There you go. Hey. Enter our contest to win a chance <laughs> to watch, watch Pee Wee's, Pee -wee's Big, Big Adventure, Adventure with a, in a with park the, of our choosing. With the Sin Twisters. Yeah. We get to choose the venue, though. We can drink Coca Calo. 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 Yeah, I, I have another wrap. So. Oh, there you go. It came in threes. All right. Let's go. We've wasted enough My of your time. Victoria Winters. Her name is I Victoria know I Winters. Be and yet the great house on Widow's Hill carries the dusty smell of fear. <laughs> fear smells hey, dusty. I did not know that fear was a <laughs> dusty smell. <laughs> so we're in the. the um, so when a dog quarters. is really like about to pounce on you, it's because it smelled dust on you? It and not fear. <laughs> and Wait, the they would have had a field day at mom's room. house. <laughs> Maybe that's why the dogs were all so mean. <laughs> they were shitty dogs. <laughs> oh my god. As we discussed, they were not all mean, just the one. I don't did we do that on camera? I don't know. I don't know, because But she was <clears throat> she was mean enough to make up for all the rest of them. Yeah, that dog was a dick. 
terrorizing. Oh, David she was is terrorizing. coming in from outside. Yes, she was. She was terrifying. I mean, I'm sorry, but when, when you have to, when you're leaving the house and you have five children, eight, ranging in age from like 10, 11, 12 to three, and you have to lock your dog in the bedroom because it's so mean when you're leaving these kids in the house, which you could do in the 70s. That dog should not be in that house. And that dog she, was... She should not have made it as long as she did. No. 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 She could have hurt a lot more people than, than she did, unfortunately. Uh, anyway, back to the show. David is peering through... We'll talk the... more about Sunny in a later episode. Um, no, we won't. David is... Go ahead. David was peering through um, the cracked doors into the um, oh jarring room, and now the phone is ringing. Ring. He's, He's walking, wearing those Santa belt pants that are high waters. Oh, oh, he's trying to run up the stairs to apparently he's sneaking around. See, oh, now he's wait, where is he hiding? Not he's very just well. sitting in the corner, trying to hide. It's from a dark those. corner, to be fair. And Liz is coming down the stairs to answer the phone in the Would lobby. Would you say that the, the corner foyer. has dark shadows well, in it? I guess she's here. What? <laughs> no, Carol's not home. She went into town. Mm -hmm. I haven't the faintest idea. Where she oh, he's hiding home. behind a chair. Oh, oh it's Roger, Roger on the phone. <laughs> Roger, I have no intention of locking in her room or tying her down. If you want to talk, we'll come here and do so. Wait, what are they talking, talking about, Carolyn? Carolyn? I think so. Why? Roger wants to keep Carolyn oh, in the house, he wants, and uh, he wants to keep her away from her. No and um, Liz knows that David is hiding yeah, in the corner. Because his hiding places suck. <laughs> well, he did pretty good when he was in the basement. He did, but first Are of all... Are you going to tell my father about the teacup? The teacup. Then you did do it. Why, David? Why? Don't tell my father I what didn't. I did to your teacup. That's nonsense. It was on oh the tray God. right here. When I came in, it was what? on the floor. What? He broke her teacup. I didn't touch it. <laughs> David didn't touch it, he said. They did. I, I was standing Wait, right over who here. who touched it? The widows. The He's going to tell her the widows did it. And I saw it move all, all by itself. And it fell on the floor and it broke. And it made no sound. I mean, that would be proof right there. Yeah. They do yeah. here. I'm pretty sure Lots of we would have Lots heard of it. things happen here, David says. And now he's running dramatically up the stairs in his floods. Seriously, can they can they not afford to buy a pair of pants that fit that poor child? And here's the intro. And here we are without our theremins. I'm really sad. I'm so sad I couldn't even polish my tea. Tea, what is teapot? <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Look oh, at that cool Bert I, Deflin's room. This is the coolest hotel room ever. It's like a little it's suite. It's a suite, yeah. He's got a little kitchen on this one side and a bedroom. I want and to be a living room. Exactly half an hour. I have an important appointment and I don't want to get to leave. Oh, he's got, he wants a call That's in right. half an hour. Half hour. Oh. Can I tell you about my please? What about my, my wake up call? <laughs> speaking of hotel speaking of rooms. speaking of alarms or calls from the front desk. Is that what he's calling for? Yeah, he ah. wants a call in half an hour because so, he has an appointment. Perfect. An appointment he doesn't want to miss. Perfect okay. setup. Yeah, Kirk. nice. Thanks. Thanks for the segue. Okay, so this was years ago. Larry and I were stay. We were down Hilton Head, staying in a nice. Larry's hotel. her husband. Yeah, LMF, lucky motherfucker. Um, staying in a nice hotel down at Hilton Head, Hilton Head, and, Hilton 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 and as is our want, as you are wont to do, we we had a nice balcony. So it was late. That's we had your a, want. We had a bottle nice of balcony. booze. This is our want. That's our want. Our want is to use that nice balcony in this manner. So we had a Bluetooth Polishing. speaker. Teapot? Had a bottle, no. <laughs> had a bottle of bourbon. Had a uh, pack of card, deck of cards. So we went out, played music, and played King's Corner until like three or four in the morning. I and I about that game. Oh, it's awesome. We, I tried to teach him other games, but we can't get past that one. So hi, family. So we um, <laughs> we um, 
Hi. We were playing until about three or four in the morning, and um, <laughs> I thought we were being quiet, and then we went to bed. Have you met her? She's not quiet, especially when I'm drunk. Anyway, so we went to bed, and the phone rings at 6 a.m., so Larry answers that. He goes, hello. <laughs> and the front desk says, this is your 6 a.m. wake-up call, and he goes, I didn't alert a wake-up call. <laughs> and they go, oh, I guess you don't need the 8 a.m. wake-up call either, do you? <laughs> so apparently we pissed somebody off and they called in two wake-up calls for us, which I couldn't be mad because that is some straight-up hilarious revenge right there. That is, and they had to figure out what room you were in. It probably wasn't that difficult. Well, I know, but they had to track you down and look. That's and true. What the room That's was. true. It's not like they could pinpoint the balcony. I'm just guessing. They just walked out. They were above us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing. I don't know. Okay, so I'm trying to get back to... Uh, I think what she's getting at is she's a jackass. <laughs> I take after her. Hi. All right, Burke Devlin is tidying up the papers and putting them in his briefcase. Look how dapper he looks. He's he got looks this great. Long sleeve shirt with cufflinks and a vest and a tie and a top. And he's a trim fella. He looks he looks really good for a Dick Tracy bad guy. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. I like that vest. I know it looks sharp. Ooh. Damn, he needs a pair of tap shoes. He, he really does. And a Ginger Rogers. <gasps> oh. oh, he's going to get a Carolyn. Not the same. Oh, there's a knock on the door and he has to put his jacket on before he opens it. <laughs> Is he going to button it? Is he going to button it? No, no he, didn't he button doesn't it. button it. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. So and he's going cash. He's going very casual. Carolyn. Thank you. He doesn't want her to see how oh, hot he looks and just the vest. That's what you came for. She uh, would not? insist on him putting on a pair of tap shoes. Well, I'm telling you. So, in a way. Unless, of course, your uncle sent you to see me. Can I just say, this show is black and white, but Carolyn's hair shows up as very blonde and shiny. It looks great. Whoever, whoever dyed it did a great job. Carolyn Stoddard in the lion's den. Wait, wasn't that a gay bar on Ludlow and Clifton? Probably. Remember, it had it just had blank walls. There were no windows. I don't. On the Ludlow Avenue in Cincinnati. Yeah, 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 in Clifton. Yeah. Anyway, I think the Lion's Den was a gay bar in on Ludlow Avenue, in Clifton. Nothing if anybody there. knows, no, no, not there. from back in the drop day, drop it in the comments. Let us know. Much more comfortable on the sofa. I never went in. I went to another gay Thank bar. You. Which one did you go to? Um, the the Metro. Mm. Route on uh, Gano Alley. You are my first it was awesome, Stop. by the way. Did you know that? I went there too. It's not like. Oh, I got a story about that. Oh my God. I'll tell you another about day. The Metro? Oh, yeah. You can tell it now. So I took my friend Jamie there. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. We're not <laughs> God <laughs> damn it. No, it was another one. Anyway. Sorry. This kid was a rock climber. So. He was pretty buff. I mean, and he was cute as hell, too. But I take him, I said, let's go dancing. So I took him to the Metro, to this gay bar. And he made the decision to wear some jeans and a yellow tank top. <laughs> and we're there, and I'm like the only woman except for maybe a bartender or two. And Jamie comes up to me after a while. He goes, were you upstairs or downstairs? Downstairs. The upstairs was never open. Anyway. You had to go late because I always went upstairs because I got there. Like, I did late. go late because I would go there after I got off work at midnight or one o'clock. Anyway, upstairs was closed. Anyway, so Jamie comes up to me. He goes, "Dance with me, dance with me like you mean it." <laughs> and then like years you later, it? yeah, like you mean it. And then years later, he thanked me. He said, "You helped me face some truths about myself that night." <laughs> Anyway, uh, cheers, Jamie. <laughs> You're welcome. Look, oh we're, yeah, we're, we're drinking, we're drinking uh, Coca Kalo. We're like 
six minutes into the show and 20 minutes into. Oh, God damn it. Wait, didn't you have I'm not friends? editing. I don't edit. Past tense. Um, maybe you should edit out a like, bleep of last name. Change. I don't know. Things change. People change. Any other questions? Yes. Why is my Uncle Roger so afraid? Carolyn wants to know why oh, Uncle well, Roger is so afraid of her. I'm sorry I blurred it out. But just put a black sorry. line over your mouth sorry. when you say that. Can we pixelate you? That's the sound marvelous. will still be there. If you can't can put out pixelate a... pixelate sound? Beep. Do you know how to do just that? Play I'll figure it out. Still have an answer. Sorry, no Jamie. You see, there's absolutely he no did look good in that Roger yellow tank top, though. Look at the great restraints I'm showing by not sharing the last honest. name that you said Again? was not, was not the last the name. But apparently was managed. because you want me to add and it. Your uncle isn't involved. Maybe that wasn't the right first name. Now I've spoiled your fun, haven't I? Well, Berklet Devlin you spoiled Caroline's well, fun. It's hardly worth it jumping into a lake to rescue someone and then finding out that they're not drowning at all. <clears throat> and on that bit of wisdom, I'm going to fix myself a drink. Jump into a lake to save someone. He's going to fix a drink. Who's not drowning well, at all. Maybe some fix a ginger drink. ale or something. Carolyn wants ginger ale. Can I help? How old right are you, there. Carolyn? We established she's 18. Which at that time, could you drink at 18 maybe? I if bet they didn't card at the blue whale. If you were a Collins, it didn't matter what the fuck you did. True story. She got her compact out and she touched up. Oh, she oh there's a paper on the couch. She just tracked or something. Legal paper. Would you like a lot of ice? That'll be fine. A hmm. lot of ice in yeah. there. What's she getting? A little ginger ale? Ginger ale or something. Boring. Ice is clinking in the background. Carolyn is eagerly reading a paper that Burke left on the couch, probably conveniently for her viewing pleasure, because now he's looking through the kitchen door at her and smiling. He's kind of got what I used to call the Campbell County haircut, because I feel like I forgot. <laughs> okay, Campbell County is where we are right now. Campbell County. Campbell County, Campbell County yeah, Kentucky, the Tucky. He's like every guy like. had their hair like yeah, it went right up and back. Thank you. Kind of like I'm Elvis. A drinker like a pompadour. Like when did they really do low pompadour? Like when did they do this? Like when you moved here? Yeah, like for, look, not look at the same thing as Not like Elvis. Elvis was cool. When did you move here? Of course, the money is certain, but to get a chance. 94. Okay. So, how did the fellas wear their hair now? I don't know. I don't pay attention. <laughs> the guys I know are all losing their hair. Are what? Losing their hair. Oh. I'm kidding. Oh, he's chastising her for reading the paper that she left. He left lying around. He did like that for her to read that. Did. He did, yeah, that was solely for her. Uncle Roger seems to think yeah, you've come here to settle down and, I don't know, create all kinds of problems for him. But I told you I wasn't interested in your uncle, not at all. Oh, Burke is not saying he's not interested in Roger. Of in a day or two. Liar. Liar. Please. He's a damn liar. Liar, liar. Damn as as you're liar. That deal doesn't exist. I wish that their pants could really turn on fire. Anything you say. And the nose would grow. Burn, to the death baby, of the burn. monster. To still in fair now. Burn, baby, burn. Bring that mother down, down now. <laughs> that, Whoa, what? It's a robot. Oh, that is cool. We never lost in space. Yeah. Like the original. Danger, Will Robinson, danger. Yes, I do. Um, David's playing with a toy robot right now. That's He's fascinated by it. He is. It's very squeaky. As kids those day were, days were wont to do. It's <laughs> a very it noisy looks robot. Like, it looks like a... Um, it looks kind of looks like an... Oh, he's hiding again. This thing. Las Vegas. Oh, a slot... A one-arm... Bandit. Yeah. 
Which they don't have anymore. It's just a button you push. Ah, oh, fuck. I know, because, because this is a lot easier than this. Like, they can get the money faster if you do it's, this. How fun and is it's that? it's really fucking depressing when you go there and you just see all these old people. Boom, boom, boom. You might as well just sit there and pick your nose. <laughs> which I saw a lady do today, which cracked me up because she had, like... No lie. She had fish lips that, I mean... There was some injecting shit going on there. It, it looked like shit. She thought it, she loved it. Network error. What does that mean? Wait, what? What? And um, oh, her nails so were like this long, <laughs> and she sta and she was, I guess, dressed. I don't know. She had an aesthetic. Anyway, she's standing in line waiting to buy some caramels from Annie. And while she's standing there, I saw her picking her <laughs> with this fucking talon. And then Annie gets her money, and I'm like, Annie. Did you touch her money? Because she was picking her nails. <laughs> it was gross. <laughs> but funny. I have hand sanitizer. She does. It's true. Okay. Back to the show. Roger is pouring a drink. As he's wont to do. <laughs> Liz just walked in and thing. she's giving him shit for Very drinking proper, too much. Remark, I'm in no danger of becoming an alcoholic. He's in no danger of becoming an alcoholic. <laughs> That's Sam Evans' job. A little foreshadowing there. We've already met him. Have we, we, but we, have we established that he's the alcoholic? He's the town I'm drunk? I'm pretty sure. Oh, and Roger's pissed because um, Miss Winters was in town today to make a private phone call. Yeah. Roger is pissed because she met with Burke. Roger's very controlling. He's a baby, too. Yes. Burke is filled with hate, and he's Burke going to use every angle hate. he can find to tear us down, including that 20-year-old girl. I warned you not to bring into this house. I warned you not to bring into this house. He literally did do that with his head. It was sure pretty funny. Liz wears the pants in this family, even though she's always in a skirt, you know about always. This girl? a tasteful skirt or dress, Why did you hire her? or tasteful pajamas. <laughs> Take care of Dave. She always looks her great. Her jammies are, are very fashionable. She always looks great. Oh, David oh, yeah, is hiding. Still hiding. Yeah, and he's he can hear him. Put him in the institution. Oh, and Liz is sticking up for David. She's like the only one who sticks up for him. No, um, Vicky does. Until Vicky gets that way, you mean you won't oh, yeah. really started yeah. teaching him yet, though, has she? I mean, she can't ago, because he hates her. After the trouble with Burke, you left Collins for and I sent you money. Oh, Every oh. Liz just said, after the trouble with Burke, you left Collinsport, and I gave you money. Ten years ago. Every month for ten years. Wow, there's a so, precedent for sending money? Hmm, but only for ten years. So Roger's been gone for Every ten month. years. And now he's, why did he come back? Oh, because his wife left him. And he can't take care of his son. For 10 years, and you promised never to come back. Oh, he but promised never back. to come back. And this is still my house, and don't you forget it. Uh, you wouldn't let me forget it. And that's another thing you better remember. You're here for one reason. And for one, one reason, reason only. only. David. And I cannot allow you to attack David. So David is overhearing all of this, and now he knows... Else. That is he's that got an ally way? in his Aunt Elizabeth. I and I really think that David loves Elizabeth. I kind of think he knew that, but this is solidifying yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and Roger's, Roger's getting drinking. another drink. I think I will too. Oh, the robot's going off. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Roger's got one of those noses that goes like this in his nostrils. <laughs> Look at him. I'm like, my nose, it goes like this. And his hairline goes like this. It does. Get your feet now to me. Oh, you're right. I told you never noticed that? That's kind of a Roger Kaputnik nose. That's a Mad Magazine reference. I wish I... Is that the lighter side of? Yeah. All right, David. Get to your room. Aunt Elizabeth would throw you out of the house if you tried, wouldn't she? I told you to go to your room. If he tried to what? Send him away. Away. She said you away. All right, David. 
Everybody wants Ooh, to Ooh, he's manhandling Everybody. David. What are you talking about? I remember. I remember that big fight you had with Oh, the big fight. fight. He remembers oh. the big fight with the mother. David. And there's something about so Bergdellin with uh, like his that. mother. It's hmm. not a story, it's true. I wonder if there's a teapot involved. <laughs> Here, or maybe a broken tea cup. He remembers their, his parents fighting. Nothing. I want to know what else you heard, David. Let me what go. else did you Let hear, go. David? You what else did word. you hear? Yeah. <gasps> David ran to Liz. Behind a Don't chair. let him hurt me. Every word we said. That's no reason to. David, why don't you go along to your room? We'll talk about Liz this is day. sending David to his room so they can talk later. Way, are you? Mm. I, oh, I thought he was <laughs> going to say I hate and you. And I hope he gets even. I he hope says, he gets even. I hope that Burke Devlin comes back in. I hope he gets even with you. I hope he gets even. Oh, Carolyn looks awfully crazy and comfy in Bert's suite. One is all I can handle, thanks. Bert's One ginger ale is all she can handle. Bert's sweet, sweet. You and Uncle Roger once were good friends, weren't you? She's a lightweight. It's funny, I don't ever remember good seeing you around. Good thing she's not on Drunk Shadows. Yeah, we were very young at the time. Oh, Ten just years. wait. Oh, <laughs> honey. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. What really did happen between you and Uncle Roger? Decided that was trying to get some dirt oh, on forgot. him and yes, Uncle Ro Uncle Roger. Sure, I'm not still trying to fool you. Is that it? Something like that. How do they get their hair to do that? Flip up like that? Yeah. Orange cans. Frozen <laughs> orange juice? No, him. Burke Dublin, not oh, her. Him. The, that. Yeah, that shit. Oh my gosh, that would look horrible on me. Look at that. You got a living camel You look like Joni. I do. Our sister, Joni. I do. One of our sisters. Um, you got to live in camel county and be a guy to get your I'm not doing either of those things. Look, I can get mine to do that. Apparently, I'm a camel county guy. Well, you know me, Jose. I get restless. Oh, just kidding. Oh, not. Oh, I think this yeah, is a. Well, oh, oh Bert Devlin is taking a call because his right. finger is on the uh, on the, the hang up episode. part, and he's talking to Jose right. about a meeting he's got to go out of town for. All for Carolyn's benefit. A business deal. A business deal. Really true. I'm trying to say it and not spray it. Sorry. Of course it is. You saw the letter, didn't you? Yes, but uh, then I began to think about it. I see. And you, uh, you figured okay. I put the letter there so that you would see it. Well, why would I do that? Uh, why would you? Yeah, okay, so <coughs> Carolyn's so saying, yeah, sure you put the letter so I would see it. And he's like, why would I do that? You know. Uh, you know. You know. You Just come. Well, you've got quite an imagination, Miss Dutton. Burke is denying that he it's is plot, as it's so said in the synopsis, he's I'll denying sure. that he's plotting against her family. Maybe, uh, lies and liars. That is a cat on the hut to her reference. There's the lies and the liars who tell them, that's an Al Franken reference. Yeah. You don't have to rub it in. No, really. How do you know I didn't, I didn't put like that letter cat, cat on the hut to her. Did you like it? The movie? No, I read it. Watch the movie with Paul Newman. No, I insist. Uh, if you think Especially that's since you've read it. Devlin, you're I think we have to read it in Newman. school. And reading uh, a play is like eating sandpaper. Sure, I'm being honest with you. you can do it, but why would you? Why? I am sure. Unless you're in the play. No doubts. No doubts. And you have to. Because you got to well, learn. I think it's time we got better acquainted. Oh, Burke is uh, suggesting that he get better acquainted with Carolyn. Gracious. Now the wind is blowing. Go figure. Uh, they, it, that should be a given. It's the exterior of Collinwood. It looks almost like the old or is house, that the, but it's not. It's Collinwood. There's Liz. We haven't been to the old house yet. You hush your mouth. Forget I said that. Oh, she's having she's dreams. She's saying there are no ghosts. She's in a chair in the drawing room. Wait, what? No what? what? What are we seeing? It's all fuzzy. It's blurry. There's oh, it's David. David. 
Oh, now she's awake. She's frightened me so. And David scared Must her. Fall asleep. He scared her. He scared her. I'm a scared. Where was I? Where have you been? Look at the communion rail so around, the, I know. around the fireplace. No, that's that's so they can sit and warm up. I'm getting old. What have you got in your hand? But it looks like Where a communion rail. It does. It Where does. Are the ghosts? It looks kind of dirty. What's the shit around his mouth? Is I he know. eating chocolate? It's like he stole chocolate from the kitchen and no, didn't want to tell anyone. Much I didn't eat that cake. Maybe. <laughs> well, he, he is, is dirty. dirty. What the heck? And it's all around his mouth. And she doesn't even notice. Oh, he found a seashell. Oh. Oh. I don't remember. Not that I've seen this before. What? We'll talk off camera. Should we pause it? <laughs> no. Hello, now Carolyn just walked in. She's, oh, she's all bright and glowy. With a friend. With, a friend. with a friend. Oh, hell. Oh, is he there? She brought Burke Dillon oh, in with at her. Him, like just his trench coat draped over his shoulders. Again. Dapper. Very dapper. Hello, Mrs. Stoddard. And that's it. That's a wrap. That's a wrap and scene. Thanks for joining us for another episode of uh, Drunk Shadows. It's been episode a pledge. 10. It toast has. Bye! Say goodbye to the happy people. See ya. Bye! Wouldn't want to be ya. Oh, not nice! Rude! Uh, yeah, I remember some little three year old saying, saying that to me one time, and you said, I don't know why I thought that would be funny. <laughs> wait, what? Some th I said that? Wait, you said that? Wait. No, John. When he was like three. My kid said that too. Yes. And you were like, I don't know why I taught him that. I don't know why I thought that would be funny. Shut up, Mustang. I do not remember teaching my kid that. Sorry. Uh, I thought it was kind of funny. Sorry. It was kind of funny. And, you know, chances are you didn't teach him that. Okay, we're out of here. Bye. Bye.